Now, the other important foundational concept for metabolism is an understanding of redox reactions. This might bring you back to some high school uh, chemistry classes. So redox is a shortened form for oxidation reduction reactions. Redox. And redox reactions are chemical reactions that involve the transfer of electrons. So I'm going to abbreviate electrons like this, E with a little minus sign, and that's because electrons are negatively charged. So redox reactions are going to involve the transfer of electrons. Now, when, we can always take a chemical reaction like this one over here and split it apart into two when we're talking about redox reactions. One half of that reaction will be an oxidation reaction, and the other half of that reaction will be a reduction reaction. The compound that is donating the electron is getting oxidized, and then the compound that is receiving or accepting the electron is getting reduced. Now, um, when we're talking about redox reactions in metabolism, we can really focus on following the hydrogen. Now, remember that a hydrogen is composed of one proton and one electron. So when we're looking at redox reactions, if we follow the hydrogen, that is going to tell us where the electron is going and also going to clue us in that a redox reaction is happening. So whichever compound is accepting the hydrogen, that is the compound that is going to be getting reduced. That is, um, whereas the compound that is losing the hydrogen, that's going to be the compound that is getting oxidized. So yes, as I mentioned, when you see a compound accepting a hydrogen, it's getting reduced. Now, in metabolism, what we're going to be doing is taking these hydrogens from the reduced compounds and using it to drive the synthesis of ATP. When we're talking about the synthesis of ATP, what I'm referring to is taking ADP with two phosphates plus another phosphate group and, use, and then con uh, adding that phosphate group to create ATP, the, currency of our, the energy currency of our cells. So that is why really we care about the hydrogens in metabolism. Now, there are a few helpful mnemonics that will help you remember um, the, the components of a redox reaction. Uh, so one is oil rig, oxygen is loss, loss of electrons, reduction is gain, a gain of electrons. The other uh, mnemonic that might help is Leo the lion says grr, loss of electrons is oxidation, gain of electrons is reduction. Let's take a look at an, an example of a reaction that happens in metabolism that is a redox reaction. So we're going to start up here. So we're going to take a look at lactate. Lactate plus NAD is converted to pyruvate plus NADH. If we split that reaction apart into its component bits, we would see lactate goes to pyruvate plus a hydrogen plus two electrons. So in the process of lactate being converted to pyruvate, it is going to be donating a hydrogen ion and it's going to be donating two electrons. So in this case, the lactate is getting oxidized because it is donating the electrons. And if we look at the other component, we see we have NAD plus hydrogen plus two ions creates NADH. So in this case, the NAD is accepting the electrons, so it is getting reduced. Um, and then we have Na, uh, and that yields NADH. So this is a reduction reaction. So let's talk about redox reactions a little bit more within our framework of metabolism, where we understand that there are catabolic reactions and anabolic reactions. In general, catabolic or breaking down reactions are going to be reducing NAD into NADH. And um, in this case, remember, oops, and in this case, we are going to be taking these hydrogens from all of these reduced NADHs, and we're going to ultimately use them to drive the synthesis of ATP. Now, anabolic reactions, or our building reactions, those will be oxidizing our NADH back to NAD. Now, so NADH is being oxidized in these anabolic reactions. That means that it is donating the electrons. And so we can see that it uh, goes from NADH to NAD because it lost it's lost the electron. Always follow the hydrogens. Now, just as a little aside, since we are also interested in many aspects of nutrition, NADH is in fact vitamin B3. It's niacin. And then another um, redox uh, compound that we'll use a lot in metabolism is FADH2. FADH2 is also riboflavin, vitamin B2.